Well, hello everybody. My name is Alan Hazelwood and I want to share with you how I do my uh, chain pull flyers. I've already put out a thin base of Prussian blue and some uh, neon blue kind of swirled in it. Uh, I spread it out with a palette knife. You don't want it real thick. You want a nice thin coat for your, your chain pulls. So I didn't do the center. I left this so I got a point of reference for my pedals. So I do a little stencil I make. You make a stencil or you can freehand them if you want. You can draw them on with a little wood skewer if you want. Some of this sort. Uh, myself I'm going to use a stencil. So let's just get right in this. I'm going to line it up at this point right here. My point of my wire. Just going to layer on there like so. I'm going to take my skewer. And I'm going to draw me a line around it. I'm going to have to be perfect. Okay. And I'm going to draw this line because I'm going to take some of this paint out of here. Okay, let's lift this up. Scrape that off. Okay. And then I'm going to take my palette tool there and I'm going to go around where I made my little mark. I'm going to so get some of that paint off there. There you go, say it ain't going to be perfect. I'm going to take some of this paint out of here. Blue in there, but well, I got my little tub here. I work out of. I just scrape it off the sides. Here, my excess paint I get on my palette knife. All right, I got that done. I'm going to lay out my colors. You can lay out your colors any way you want. I'm using basically the colors of the rainbow. I'm going to do pink, orange, yellow, and blue, green, purple. And then we'll do a... I got a cup of water here I'm going to use to put my chain in after I pull it. But let's get this done here. Let's just start with the pink. Get a nice little line of paint on there. You can lay these down in any order you want. And you just do one color if you prefer that. Okay. This is the way I like to do it. I don't like to put the yellow and green across from one another because they kind of blend the same. So I do the same thing with this side. I lay up my blue. I'm going to put my green second since I got my yellow down on the bottom on the other side. Green. And take my purple. Another thing I like to do to kind of get, add some collars. So on the outside I like to put a little dot of the collars. Just to kind of blend them up a little bit. If you notice, I'm kind of putting them right on the edge instead of inside the collar. I kind of give a little fluffiness to my pedal. I'll do this all the way around. Like so. I'll do the same thing over here. And here again, you can do this however you want your colors. take my chain and I'm going to lay my chain down here I want to go right on the edge I don't want to get it laid in the blue and drag the blue in okay I just want to drag the collars but I do want to try and go outside each one of these little dots okay so it's best to start right here on the end okay like I said I have to go around every one of the little dots just try your best just to do that Sometimes you lay it there and kind of go ahead and drag it. Okay. Take your time, not going to no race. 
Side and get a little bit of blue on there and really get a ball effect on the whole thing you can do that but sometimes that blue can overtake some of your colors like I, said, I do this a lot of time with black but I'll go with the blue tonight okay now when I go to pull this I try and pull this side down a little bit towards me and then out away you just seem to sit and gotta get more color with that one that's just pull her in. And when you drag, go slow. Well, no hurry. You know you don't want no paint to fall over your chain. That's the key here. Okay. When I come here in the center, I raise my chain up so I'm not dragging it across my canvas. Like I said, just nice and easy. No, no sense to be in a hurry. And you see it's starting to pull up here. I just kind of go slow. And sometimes you take a skewer and you put it right here and keep that chain from flipping out where it needs to go. Okay, and just bring it all the way up. So, and then drop this in with a jig of water. Okay, and then I'll take my palette knife and I'm going to get this paint out of here. Okay. So we just pick it up, I'm gonna drag it over here. You can take it off any way you want. You can use the pipe bed if you want to do it that way. I don't have the patience for that. But I want to clean out the pipe bed either. So, so that's kind of what I do. I kind of got my circle here done, but I'm not that worried getting too close to it. I like to actually leave a little bit of a wet edge there. I can scrape off when I'm ready. Okay. That's our first pedal. And normally I'd go 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. But for sake of time, I'm just going to do this pedal. Then I'm going to do another pedal over here and just show how you can cross them. So I just spin, spin my canvas. Push my hands. Okay. I'm going to do just like I did the last time. I'm going to set my pedal stencil down on here. This thing's going to go all the way to the edge on this and try to get right in the middle. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. Take skewer. Now, what I usually do, I use a little pointy side first. Yeah, pointy side and you got a little blunter side. I think I use the pointy side first. And then I come back and use the blunt side. The blunt side is going to give you more of a defined line as you can do see. Let's see, I got this little piece of tape up on there so I can help pull this up off of here. Like so. Like I said, if you don't use a stencil, you can just, uh, oops. Uh, you can just hand draw one if you want, okay? You can do it that way. I just kind of do it this way so I can kind of get it nice and uniform. Kind of handle that way, I guess. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of take some of this out of here. I'm gonna take all this out. I'm gonna keep some down on here, you know. But I'm gonna take it all out. Like I said, I'm gonna pull the paint over the edge of the ball. Okay, there we go. Now let's lay down this next one. I'm gonna do the same thing. I try and lay them out the same way, and you don't have to. You definitely have to.
try to short change that blue there a little bit. Fix that when we come back. contrast when I'm doing it. Okay, move that in there. Let's put our chain back down. Best I can. Well, this paint I got here, that's the best it's gonna make up here at the end. I'm gonna go there a little bit, don't worry about it. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I say normally I would do this pedal, this pedal, then I come and do in between them all. But for sake of time, I'm just going to do this pedal here to show you how to do that one. And again, I'm going to line up like I normally do. Because I would like four torch and just have more, better control that way. Okay, so, put my hands here. Introducing greedy smart Same thing, I'm going to take your stencil here. I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to kind of try to find a middle point in there. I'll throw your stencil down on there and let's find her. Looks like so. Okay, right, you can move it a little bit if you need to. You can shove it. I don't want to shove it anymore than I have to. But. Now I do basically the same thing. Stencil out of the line here. So be careful down here in the paint. You don't make too big of a mess. Same way, let's get this and then work our pedal here. Okay, 
I need to get this colored paint off. But I'm more worried about anything. Uh, my color is a mix. And creating my neon colors on mud real easy. You know, I gotta be careful. If I use them on like a ring pour or something like that, I would use this foot color. I'm just move out right up here a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm not missing it. Let's listen. It's pain. I wish they made a neon red. I mean, they got a neon red, but it's pink. Say to do this, you really need to use the bottles. Uh, you need to try and use your little stir stick or whatever, but it'll be really hard to do. Okay, this last chain pull here. The same thing we've been doing. chain down and might pull out more chain. I try to lay it down in the color paint. Don't try and drop it drop it down there in the blue. In your background paint. Zipping is that and taking it over here, you don't want to drip on your so it takes your time and don't and rush it. I want to say if you do rush it and mess up the drip, just leave it. I'll be mean, honest with you, it's probably the only one's going to notice there. Okay, I'll make a little circle go right here kind of. For reference, I kind of lost it. Cantina Chicken Crispy Taco isn't just oh. a late night taco, it's a seasoned and slow roasted chicken. Oh, yeah. There are the three pedals. Right. If you want to go on, you see how I've done this, you can. I'm going to finish her. I'm going to go over here. Fancy feast. Chef inspired. This one right here. Oh, 
but if you drip like I've dripped hair, it's no big deal. And you just take it up there. I got enough chain to do four petals. So I do this and I want it to go clean. The chains. Of course, I want to short that blue for the one. Blue. 